In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Azure CLI to create an Azure DevOps repo and pipeline. By default, the Azure CLI does not come with the Azure DevOps extension installed, so we'll need to install that first. Next, we're going to have to set some defaults. So th that would be the organization and the project. Now, of course, your organization is going to be the URL to your Azure DevOps. Now let's validate our configuration. Okay, this gives us a list of the pipelines. This tells me we're connected. Now I'm going to create a workspace. I'm going to initialize this as a Git repo. And I'll be using .NET Core to create a sample project. Let me add and commit this project to the local repo. Let's create our remote repo. Let's copy the SSH URL. Let's point our repo to that remote URL and push our code. All right, let's go ahead and create our remote pipeline. From here, we can select what type of pipeline this is going to be, and this will generate the sample YAML file. And if we look at the very top, if I scroll up here, I can see that number five is ASP.NET Core, which is what this project is. So I'll choose number five, where it says, please enter a choice. And you do have the option to look at the YAML file. So I'm going to click on two, select two, and this opens up a text editor here. So here's the sample pipeline that it's going to use. At this point, you can, of course, edit it and all that. I'm just going to leave it as is. So I'm going to say number one, proceed with this YAML. And next, it's going to ask you what branch you want to commit this to. I'm going to choose master because this is just a sample project. But you have the option to commit this to a separate branch. Okay, it's done. Now let's look at the build. And what I'm doing here is I'm not going to list all the builds. I'm just going to list the last the last one that was done, which is the most current one. And I'm asking it to just give me the name, ID, and the result by using the Azure CLI query language. Okay, so that tells us our test pipeline built successfully. So had our pipeline failed, we've got, of course, would have got an error here, but since it's good, it tells me that the .NET build worked just fine. I don't have to go into the UI. I can just check from the CLI here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get a list of the pipelines. Okay, here we can see that the web API test pipeline is number has an ID of 23. So we're going to delete it. Oops, I missed a little dash here. It's going to prompt you if you want. Are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, I do. And now let's look at the repos. Again, I don't want to get all the information for the repos. I just want to know the name and the ID. And here we can see that our repo is listed here. And it's this uh, GUID here. That's the ID for this repo. I'm going to copy that. Are you sure you're going to get a confirmation? I'm going to say yes. And there you go. Okay, just to recap here, I went ahead and showed you how to use the Azure CLI to create a remote repo in Azure DevOps. And then after that, we created a pipeline. We ran the pipeline and got the results. And then we cleaned it all up. Uh, so this goes to show that you don't even have to get into the UI to manage things. Um, it makes sense, of course, to use the UI, but you could use pure Azure CLI to manage everything in Azure DevOps. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.